Hi Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading with me. This is Brooke and welcome back to Nightbird Tarot. Thank you for joining me. This is the weekly reading for March 12th to the 18th. Please watch for your sun, moon rising in this video. So Capricorn, let's get started. We come in with the energy of the Eight of Cups for the week. The Eight of Cups is essentially very much about letting go. This could be letting go of grievances. This could be forgiveness. This could be making or taking the steps to emotionally walk out of a situation, to emotionally let go of something. This is kind of the wake up call, the realization that perhaps you need to bury the hatchet. You need to forgive. You need to move on to allow yourself and to enable yourself to be free, to heal. Okay, emotionally detachment or emotional detachment from a situation. This will bring about much change, especially formulating new beginnings in relationships. We come in with the Ace of Batons or the Ace of Wands. This is bringing in new life in relationships. We have the Page of Cups. Okay, so very much about birth or rebirth, or birth of new ideas, birth of new ideas in relationships, okay, going to the next level of some kind, there's a revelation, they're telling me that Capricorn may realize in doing or practicing the art of forgiveness is enabling you to move forward and to have new starts and new beginnings and existing relationships as well as going forward perhaps and forming new relationships because you're letting go of that previous energy or that past energy. Something may come in kind of out of the blue for Capricorn this week that's kind of jolting, uh, but it's, in, it's coming in at in the form of being kind of abrupt. It may also come in the form of being a bit assertive or aggressive um, in, the, in the form of convincing Capricorn or bringing about much change for Capricorn to realize your dream or if you've wished about something. We come in with the Nine of Cups energy, which is the Wish card, okay, followed by the Knight of Swords. So on the tails of this wish or on the tails of this dream for Capricorn, it's coming in very quickly and it's coming in a bit abruptly. So out of the blue, you know, phone call, out of the blue, oh, wow, this is really happening. So it's not kind of... It's not slowly progressing up to something. It's kind of like, bam, there it is. And then it goes. But it's leaving in its wake a wish, a desire that Capricorn has been wanting. Okay, so it may come in the form or it may be delivered to you real quick. Okay, as the Knight of Swords is the fastest moving knight in the deck. He's abrupt. He's quick. He can often be very aggressive. Okay, but he's fast moving and then he goes. He always has a purpose to his madness. And then we also come in something attached to the past for Capricorn where there have been oppositions at play with either someone else butting heads with someone, grievances, contention. Okay, something connected to the past. This may be where the healing Okay, the ability to let go emotional and the healing and relationships is happening for you this week. Something very much connected to the past. Then we have the second night in the deck. We have the night of coins in the reading. So this is slow moving and this could have been a situation that has built up over years and years and years of having an oppressive nature to it. You have carried the weight of this for so long, for a long time. It's been slow moving. It's been year after year after year after year. 
and it's carried with it a weight, a burden. It's been mentally, emotionally, physically exhausting for Capricorn at times. And it's something that has been long term, ongoing type of energy. We come in with the core card in the outcome position, the king of batons or the king of wands. We could be dealing with fire sign energy this week. So Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but the king of wands is dynamic. He's the persuasive one. He's the charismatic one. He's the talker. He's attractive. He gets what he wants, okay? This person may show up for Capricorn and have a lot to do with this situation. With that, on the heels of this person, okay, of the on the heels of this king, they're carrying with them a message for Capricorn. And I think that's where this wish is going to be well received for many that's coming in very quickly because this king may be the one that it's coming from, okay, bearing, bearing some kind of message, bringing with him good news, good tidings of some sort, a good message for you. And then we end with the world. So it may feel for Capricorn to be a very full circle moment of like, whoa, this is happening. I never thought this was going to happen. You know, a full circle moment of completion for you, of this person perhaps recognizing or forming or making recognition to Capricorn, recognizing Capricorn. And with that recognition, their success. And this doesn't have to be on a romantic level. This could be in your career, being noticed, okay? This could be uh, with anything that you do on a creative level. This is someone noticing you. This is someone capturing Capricorn's talent, ability. This could be romantic for many as it is a general reading. So it just depends. But there's some form of success recognition that comes with this. So beautiful reading, Capricorn. Thank you for watching. Keep me posted. Please subscribe. Check out my website below. Also, you can find me on Tara Witchery as the featured reader. Have a great week, Capricorn. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.